Hello procrastinators, money makers, also YouTubers, and welcome to another Train Simulator 2017 episode. And last time I was doing the review on the E2 tank engine, and I said I had a bit of a surprise for you in this episode. And today I'm just going to get straight into it. But before I do, I just want to let you know for the first time ever, I have no idea what this engine is actually called. I don't know its actual name, I don't know where it was built, I don't know where it's from, and I don't even know who built it, but we're going to review on it. Anyway, and here it is. Uh, I'm guessing it's American because it has a. Um, you know, it says New York on the side, so I'm guessing it's from New York or whatever, or goes to New York. I don't know. I, I've, I literally, I honestly don't know what the name of this engine is actually called. For the first time, I really, I seriously don't know what this engine is called. But I, 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 I know what it is. I mean, it's some, some some streamlined um thing that goes to New York or comes from New York. Actually, I don't I don't, I've, I don't know anything about this engine, but what I do know is this was actually for Microsoft Train Simulator, and I've actually found a way and installed it on Train Simulator 2016. No, I mean 2017. Sorry, and um, so actually this is actually a model for Train Simulator, well Microsoft Train Simulator, the very old one, but. So this is so this is actually quite old this model so it doesn't look very well and it doesn't sound very good. If we quickly do the whistle. See, it's a very see, see you can tell by the sound of the the uh, whistle. It's it's a very old model. I mean the coaches look old, the wheels look old, and you know it's it's just, this is a very old model, but. Do you know what? I honestly don't think it's that bad, but I do have one big downside to it above all is the inside. I mean, look, it looks like it was just blocked up and it was just like it was just placed in. It doesn't look very detailed. It just looks so rubbish. But it has given us a feature where you can open the windows, which I think it I think, you know, at least it's given us that option where we can open and close the windows. I mean, come on, who wouldn't, right? But if we press 5, you get to go inside this um well, this I think it's the end carriage, which is a curvy bit. Uh, but I have to be honest, for a very old model for Microsoft Train Simulator model, this actually is very well done. But if I go over here, this guy has no legs and his body just keeps disappearing. So this guy has so this guy has no legs. Um, the chairs are hovering, and you know, and this and this table was see through as well. So that's a mistake, or maybe that's just a desk. I don't know. But it, it's given us a wine glass, which is um, or a champagne glass, which is nice. So if we press quickly, press three, it takes us all the way to the e uh, end. Yeah, sorry. And it's given us this funny little coach thing, which looks like something from the Polo Express. But if we turn on the lights quick, then, you know, I'm guessing that light up, but you couldn't really tell. But the front light does light up, as you guys, um, and actually, I don't think it did, actually. Did it light up? Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. So, there you go. See, the light lights up, so that's cool. Um, but, right, let's get this engine underway, which I, well, there's no point in denying it. I mean, oh, there's no way in hell I can drive it from here, can I? Um, right, so here we go. That up there, and wish me luck, guys. Oh, nothing's happened. Um, do have to blow the whistle first. Um, nothing, nothing's happening. Well, that's new. They give it. They, they've given us an engine where we can't exactly drive it, which is new. Oh no! Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, it's moving. There we go. We're moving. Oh yes, but as I said, I, you do you, you have to forgive me. This is a very old model, model as you can tell, because there's a little bit here missing, and it's. But you know, I I I've seen these kind of engines before, and they're very like very modern, streamlined thing. Well, I don't know if they're modern actually. That's I take take away that word, but you can't deny the sound effect for it's actually quite good. I mean, the whistle's a bit terrible though. I have to admit, but the puffing noise is actually quite. I mean, I can live with the puffing noise, actually, because that's actually the most decent thing on this engine so far. Well, let's, let's put the regulator down a little bit so we can go quite fast, because I want to I see how fast we can actually get this engine, because, look, it's 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 very long, and it's very it's, it's, it's very well put together, I have to admit. N not the train, the, the this model, because this is a very old model, as I keep saying. Because, in fairness, the, this, this train isn't supposed to be working on this actual game so actually I'm very grateful that it's actually working right now so that's a bit awesome isn't it because I'm a genius and people love a genius such as myself 
And that's the, God. That's a very long train. I, I, I can't can't deny it. it's quite a very long train actually. Where's where's the end? Or where's the beginning? Wow, this is a very long train. Another downside to what this model has is if you look at quickly look at the wheels, you can tell that if you look where my mouse is right run right about here, you can tell that the wheels are very wobbly and they're very stupid and. Well, you guys can just probably see by the wheels that the wheels are very wobbly, so that wasn't very well coded, I guess, but never mind about that. I mean, as I said, I don't know what this engine is called. If you guys know what this engine is actually called, then I would be very grateful if you put my if you put the answer um, in the comments below, because I really, I, I generally, I do not know what this engine is actually called. This is the first time I've ever played a Train Simulator video. Well, episode. It's called an episode. It's the very first Train Simulator episode that I have no idea what this train is actually called. So if you guys can actually put your answer down in the comments below, I'll be very grateful. But don't don't say like, oh, Laser Jet, you're such a dumbass. This is called the something or other. I'm not a train expert, guys. Come on, give me some sympathy here. Because I just, I just play video games. I, I just play Train Simulator. I'm not a massive... I'm not like a, a huge fan that knows every single bit about it or something. I'm just... I'm just a nerdy kid who just likes driving them. Now it says here that the speed limit's 110 miles per hour, and we're doing 73, well, 74 now miles per hour, but this doesn't feel very fast. I'm guessing this is either, I'm guessing this is kilometers an hour. It's got to be, because we're going way too slow to be doing up, like, well, this kind of speed, for instance. But overall, it's still a nice train. Oh, hold on, there's, there's more coaches over here. Should we go over here? Yeah, let's go over here. Do you know what? Let's, let's just do it. So let's, let's let's get an awesome shot. Um, we'll, uh, we'll put the uh, we'll put the camera here. Here comes here comes the train. Oh, that, that was that is actually quite a good shot. I can't deny that that was that was really good. I I, I enjoyed that. Cool. I, I I get overexcited for the most stupidest and the most pointless things. Right, guys, we're just about to come out to 100 kilometers an hour. I'm, it's got to be kilometers an hour. I mean, look at that. I mean, we're not going that amazingly fast, are we? So this is, it's got to be kilometers an hour. But anyway, uh, we're about to come up to 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, I have no idea where I'm going. I don't know where I started from. And I don't even know where where, where, where I am right now. So, you know, <laughs> we started out quite well, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> but here we go, we're about to come out to 100 kilometers an hour. Come on, just two more. We're almost there, almost there. Just, you know, a few more seconds or maybe a minute or so. I don't really know. Right, here we go. We just need um, another. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 100 kilometers an hour. Now. We did it! 100 kilometers an hour. Yay! Ah. Uh. How amazing is that? Because you know it can't be a miles miles per hour because it looks it looks too slow, doesn't it? I mean, obviously the flying Scotsman can obviously out outrun this without a doubt, but you know, let's 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 not give it all the hatred and let's not give it say oh this engine's very rubbish because actually, for an old model, the detail in this is actually it's not bad, but it's it isn't perfect, but it's it it will do. It's just that will do. And that is something I, 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 I'm, I'm okay with. A train that's, that will do is something I'm okay with. But, oh, hello, Mr. Trucks. <laughs> Don't know where they came from. But we are, obviously, cruising at a very, very steady, very quick pace, actually. We're doing 106 kilometres an hour. And I don't know what that is in miles per hour, but whatever it is, it's got to be fast. Maybe I don't know. I'm not. I'm not an expert on miles per hour, kilometers an hour, or trains or anything, as I said before. But you know, let's go, let's go inside again. Ah, oh, this is. Oh, this is lovely. Very calm. Um, hey, bus boy. Uh, oh god, is, did a person disappear? Oh my god. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, they disappeared. There we go. God, they. they god, they look like they're from 1930s, don't they? Um, oh god, they move. They keep disappearing. Um, hey, bus boy. Bus boy, can I have a can I have some champagne, please? And um, if you've got any Jaffa cakes as well, I know this is America, and plus this is 1930. They they wouldn't have Jaffa cakes. I don't think Britain had Jaffa cakes in those days either. Oh uh, well, right, screw the Jaffa cakes. I'll have some. So I'll have some. I'll have some Coca Cola, 
and some um, and, and a chocolate bar and some Doritos if you have any. Um, but look, you get this, you get a really nice, awesome, like you know, view where you get to see everything go past, which I, I really like that. Oh, there was a bit of a squeak as well, but what this is? I'm so glad I actually found this, and I'm so glad I'm driving it right now. So let's let's go back outside. But again, I still have no idea the name of this locomotive. If you guys know the names, just put the name answer down below. I'd really appreciate it. Actually, when when, the, when this is over, I'll probably look up what the name of this engine's called, and I'll put it in the title. Or should I just have it in the title? Lazy Jet Plays Train Simulator: The Unknown Engine. That would be that would be a good that would be a very good title to have actually if you ask me, but I still need to find out where I'm going. Right, I found out where I'm going. I'm going somewhere called Stop at Methabeglerk Two, whatever that is. But if I show you where it is, it's all the way here. But if I show you where I am, I'm all the way here. There's, there's I mean, look at this. Travelling all the way along here, then up there, then up there, then there, then there, then there, then there, then here. That's 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 too far. That's like that's like asking me to do the whole map. I mean, that's a stupid. That's a stupid idea. Why would why would I even do that? So I'll just I'll just um, I'll find the, the nearest station to stop at. Um, where's the nearest station? Ah, here's one right over there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Pro problem solved. <laughs> one hundred and twenty kilometers an hour. Oh. Hold on, or maybe, hold on, is that kilometres an hour? Or, or is this 100 miles per hour? Hold on, which? I'm confused, which one's 100 miles per hour, which one's kilometres an hour? I don't know! This doesn't look very... Actually, I don't know, maybe this is 100 miles per hour, or maybe that is, maybe that's kilometres an hour. Oh god, oh guys, I don't know! Help me out! I don't know what any of this means. I don't know how fast I'm going. I don't know. This this is a very good episode. An episode of I don't know. Maybe we just call this I don't know. The episode of Train Simulator. The title is called I don't know. Fantastic. And while we're waiting, why not get an awesome shot of the amazing streamlined I don't know? But I think that's. I think we should call this the I don't know locomotive. Locomotive. Or something. I do. I really do like the carriages, though. You can't. I can't. You can't. You can't deny the carriages look amazing, don't they? Oh, let's just let's just zoom out. I mean, obviously we've got a bit too much of the carriages, but you know, look at them. They're fantastic and very well detailed as well. Well, sort of detailed actually. Well, there's a danger sign here saying "Do not lean over the platform" or "Do not do the Michael Jackson um, moonwalk while you're on the platform" or something. Or maybe don't do the Michael Jackson lean. Either one of those will do. <gasps> Digger! Right, we're coming out to a station, guys, and I think this is going to be the one we're going to stop at, which is a shame because we 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 are we we have um got we've we have gone far, I have to say, and we have gone quite fast. I think we've gone at either 123 kilometers an hour or 123 miles per hour. I really, I, I really, I honestly do not know, but. This has been an, an amazing interview, review, sorry, not interview, interview is something totally different. But uh, this review of this amazing streamlined mainland locomotive and it has been amazing and it's been fun doing a review on this amazing locomotive. But if you, as I said, if you guys know what this engine's called then just let me know in the uh, comments below and I will read them and I will say thanks. But don't be like, oh, LaserJet, you dumbass, it's called this. Why not learn about trains? Well, some people are dumb in the world, which which I am one of them. Thank you very much. So if you guys have any hate, then, you know, don't forget to dislike this video. But if you guys did enjoy this video, then don't forget to click that like button. But if you hate this video, then don't forget to dislike. See, I'm, I'm saying dislike as in it's a normal thing. Don't forget to dislike. I'm saying as, a, as, as it's a normal thing. But... Oh my god! What? Look, listen to me. I'm saying, don't forget to dislike a video. Why? Why would anyone even think about saying something like that? Anyway, where, where's our station? I need to. Where's our station? I need to find it. Ah, our station. Here it is. Um, but where's our train? See, I'm just one of these passengers. I was waiting for their train because they're running late. Oh, I'm a bit tall. I don't want to be like Peter Crouch size. I'll be like, I'll be like uh, Jeremy Carl size because Jeremy Carl's very small. Um, right, um, pulling into a station. Let's pull power. Blow the whistle. 
and give me the brake because this train's going to be a whopper here we go he's i don't think i'm going to fit yeah we'll have to we'll have to we'll have to make do won't we and here she comes the engine that i have no idea what it's called the unknown come on oh she are you going to stop there you can't just stop there. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just a little bit more. You got, you got, you got more distance to travel here. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go, my pretty. There you go. Ah. Just, just inch forward. There you go. And break. There we go. See, look, like, you can tell the details not very. Well, the pixelation is terrible. You can tell that this train does not belong on Train Simulator 2017. But I think, I think it did quite good, right? So, can we open the doors? Does the doors open? No, the doors do not open. So you can tell. But we can't. Even, we can't even fit into into a bloody station. Look at that. But never mind. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Train Simulator 2017. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. Links are in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to Laser Live. I mean, I'm uploading on that as well. But as I said, thank you again so much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. And remember, stay cool, my friends.